Welcome back, everybody, to the Movie Watching Challenge. My name is Jake, and I am here with the challengee, mm-hmm. Mr. Brian Avalosino, as last week he watched the Ridley Scott film, The Last Duel, starring Matt Damon, Adam Driver, Jody Comer, and Ben Affleck. The penalty for bearing false witness is that you are to be burned alive. I will not be silent. Uh, he was challenged by Geo to an Affleck wheel uh, dedicated to the new movie Air that is uh, going to be coming out very, very soon. So first of all, we're going to review it, uh, get Brian's thoughts on The Last Duel, and then tease, not reveal, but tease who he will be challenging, which was revealed on last night's episode of Apocalypse Now. it's We're all over the place. So without further ado, let's get into it. Brian, The Last Duel, I would probably say out of the four movies that you were challenged to, this is the one that was like probably lowest on the rack of them, I would say. To be but, fair, yes. Oh, go ahead, go ahead. To be fair, what? No, to be fair, that is exactly what I was thinking. <laughs> it's the most recent, but it, it's probably um, the one that looked the least interesting to you. Is that fair? Yes. Okay. Um, so let's get into it. A medieval film from director mm-hmm. Ridley Scott. What did you think of it? So uh, for the record, I do love medieval. Medieval was like one of my time favorite time periods along with like Roman Greek mythology time periods. So I was excited for that part. Um, The subject matter is uh, a little bit uh, of a negative that I was not looking forward to. Um, But as far as the time period and stuff, like, That part I was looking forward to. And I mean, the cast is, I mean, Mm -hmm. some some Mm -hmm. best actors. Mm -hmm. Um, So, yeah, in that aspect, I was looking forward to it. Um, I ended up walking away, I guess, enjoying it. Uh, I mean, I... It's funny because I when I, I started watching it, I was only about a half hour in when I told talked to you and was like, mm, this is not going to go well for me. Um, I then started to pick up. Uh, it's rough watching a certain scene over. Well, I mean, this is this is a spoiler review, so go ahead, Brian. Yeah. Well, I it's uh, the topic matter more than anything of her getting assault raped over. And over and over again. I mean, I get why, but I was like, okay, I got it after the first time. Really got it after the second time. Okay, thank you. I get it. Like after the third time. Yeah, and you're referring to the story te- telling it from different perspectives, different yes. character perspectives. And I, I mean, I figured that was going to happen, obviously. But like, it's just kind of like just rough to constantly watch over and over again no matter which way you're looking on it for sure um things i loved however i loved me some action in this movie um the battle scenes or anytime someone was fighting someone was awesome could have done without the animals getting murdered uh i but that's just i think i felt yeah so um i'm not a you and I both are not uh, an enjoyer mm-hmm. of animals being killed. Um, so those parts were also rough. But like anytime some dude was getting his head smashed in or bludgeoned or whatever, like I was like, yeah, like gave me very much <laughs> like the Northman type uh, level of violence. Um, I mean, really, Scott has always done violence very well. Uh, yeah. and specifically jumping to a movie that he does very well when it comes to swords, Gladiator. Mm-hmm. Um, it's, that was the first just, rated R movie I've ever seen. Yeah, he he just does it very well. So um, I was not surprised that action is his specialty when it comes to the medieval times. Um, yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, he nailed the action parts, especially like the battles, like not just the, like the duels, like the battles where what did you think of the last duel i liked 
the thing I liked the most is it, it was not quick. Mm-hmm. It was it was a decent amount of time, like at least two to three minutes, maybe more. I mean, that's a long time with all that armor on and exactly. chasing each other. And like they were fighting. At first, I was like, dear God, do not let this be settled by just jousting. Like I was like, that can't be just the duel. And then once they get like knocked off and stuff, it's like, all right, this yeah. is going haywire. Um, I did enjoy not really knowing who was going to come out on top. I was going to ask. So, so you, you couldn't figure out who was going to win. No, I, I mean, it very much felt like it it could take you anywhere. Like, I mean, there was truly no, there was no way you, unless you knew the history, obviously, like, you could have known for sure, like, oh yeah, this guy's yeah. for sure got it. Like, Definitely. so I, I did like that part. Uh, I love a good like suspenseful, twisty, like where is it gonna go? Um, so yeah, so that aspect I did really, really enjoy. Um, but yeah, I mean, is it a movie I'm gonna watch again? That, no, like it's not. I, I mean, that, like I said, the action was great, but it's a it's not a happy go lucky joy movie. That's for damn sure. So am I glad I've seen it? Yeah, of course. Add it to the list of movies I've seen. Um, I don't know if I'd ever like be like, go watch this movie. Cause it's kind of like, eh. <laughs> but if I want to see some cool action, then by all means, what did uh, you think of the performances? Um, oh, what is her name? Jodie Comer. Yes, she was phenomenal. She was great. Loved her. I thought she stole the whole movie. Um, Adam Driver. Killer. It's a very different type of role for him. Yes. Um, love everything about him. Ben Affleck, I was kind of... He was unnecessary. Yeah, like I, I didn't really need him. Um, and then Matt Damon, I went back and forth with, cause sometimes I was like, okay, this is just Matt Damon. And then other times I was like, he was, I was like fully into the character. Like sometimes I couldn't like literally get past the like, okay, that's Matt Damon. Mm-hmm. So, um, yeah, I, I would, if I ranked, I would go, oh, what's her name? I'm, I'm Jody Comer, Jody Comer driver. Damon Affleck. That's fair. That's fair. So, but yeah, no, they were, I mean, they were all great. And that Adam Driver's like hand should have gotten a sword to the head too. At the end, I was kind of annoyed that he just lost off into the sunset. So, but yeah. No, I mean, look, I, it's, it's definitely a movie that, and I, I was also a little surprised that you said like medieval is my jam because we don't get very many, many medieval movies. So, I wouldn't really know that, obviously. Yeah. Um, it's a very different type of medieval movie. Like, it's medieval, but it's based on a specific story that tells something that's not as medieval as some yeah. other movies, like Gladiator or Robin Hood or stuff oh, like that. Um, it's a very performance-driven medieval story, and it's kind of in this time era where Ridley Scott has made, like, one or two, like, really good movies, but has had a lot of, not bombs, but just misses. He's missed yeah. a lot over the last, like, 15 years. And the movie didn't make a ton of money. It was successful it enough. Like 30, 30 million. Yeah, like it was successful enough, but uh, people walked away being like, you know what? That was decent. That wasn't too bad. Um, it wasn't a bomb atrocity by any means. Like it wasn't like, dear God, when's this movie going to end yeah. type movie? Mm-hmm. So, no, I mean, look, I'm, I'm glad to hear that you that you enjoyed it enough and that it picked up for you. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'll just say this now, and I've been saying it for a while, Joni Comer for Sue Storm. She would be perfect. She would be um, very good. But let's get to the next part of this. And again, we're not revealing anything because that was on last night's episode of Apocalypse Now. So, Brian, as vague as you can be, who are you challenging for this week? Just a little tease. Well, Geo can't be challenged, and it's Correct. not someone on the screen. Ooh. So that leaves two people. Okay. And is there, okay, let me ask you this. Um, are the movies that you're challenging this person to, are they a specific genre or set of movies or is it all across the board? 
completely random. All right. I'd love to see it. So we already know, obviously, by the time this comes out, mm -hmm. uh, you'll have to check back on Apocflix now to see uh, who that person is and what they are watching. But for now, that's going to wrap up the movie watch challenge this week. Uh, Brian reviewed the last duel. So leave us your thoughts about the movie in the comment section. We'd love to hear from you guys. And then, um, yeah, check out who got challenged and we'll have another one of these videos up next week. So for Brian, for myself, thank you so much for joining us. Check out Apocalypse Now every Tuesday at 7 o'clock Pacific, as well as everything else we got going on the channel. Casting table, trailer reactions, news bits, all kinds of really fun things. Uh, but yeah, for now, thank you so much. And we'll catch you guys next time.